Villa going up the Welcome back Villa boys to another video of my match preview against Arsenal Aston Villa will travel to London to face Arsenal Embraer Stadium Friday night 8 p.m. kickoff like in the video What well, then guys let's talk about Arsenal now now, Arsenal last time, they just played a Crystal Palace on Monday. They drew 2-2, to be fair. The beef I watched Arsenal game, the beef on it, they were absolutely very poor, to be fair. The players like Aubameyang, Lacazette, Bukal Saka, Martinelli, Emil smith Wells, well, Thomas Partey. Look, look at Arsenal player. These players should be fighting for like a top four. They should be like top four, finishing Champions League or Europa League as well. But Arsenal, to be fair, they're not having a good time as well. They don't really like their manager, Mikel Arteta, not doing a very good job at the moment. Like, you know, the Spurs and North London Derby win against Spurs 3 1. Off, I'll be very, very scared, Arsenal as well. But we can get some of this Arsenal team as well. I apparently did not call Saka because he got injured against Crystal Palace as well, that game as well. But we have to look out for a pair of week Aubameyang. Aubameyang loves playing football. He, this guy could be very, very dangerous at times as well. He loves scoring. Same like Lacazette. Luckily for us, good news did not call Saka because he injured, like I said. But Amir Smith, well, good sign for Villa, but he's still in Arsenal. Let's talk about Emil Smith well now. He's a very, very good player. Very good player as well for Arsenal. Very good player. Young player as well. Like, he's dribbling. Like, he can cause an absolutely problem. We need to keep it on Emil Smith well now. To be fair, look at Arsenal players. If Arsenal sold very, very well, like the day at Crystal Palace, that could cause a massive problem on defence as well. Hopefully, hopefully that's in do not happen as well. Also, let's put the pressure on Mikel Arteta. We have to put the pressure on Mikel Arteta. Arteta not doing a very, very good job as well. Even Arsenal fans that don't like Arteta, they don't like Mikel Arteta. They want him out of the door. They want him out as well. They don't like Mikel Arteta as well. And anyway, let's talk about Aston Villa now, lads. I'm not gonna lie, it took me that one. I won't forget about Wolverhampton. I don't want to talk about Wolverhampton as well. When we were tuning it up, uh, we messed up by like 3 2 as well. Very, very disappointed on the night as well, to be fair. And now, look, I watched this for press conference. I did watch it. Apparently, Liam Bailey, Bodger Chaoi, both could be on the score for tomorrow. That very, very good news for us. Akeen and Davis. Very good news for us, for lads as well. We need them back at the squad for tomorrow against Arsenal. This is not going to be an easy game as well. Like, this could be very, very interesting for D Smith as well. One, he started 11. We need to start it very wide. We need to put it behind us. Let's put better performance now against Arsenal. Let's like did last season. We beat them 3 0. We did the double against Arsenal. That's absolutely fantastic. Let's do it again. Let's put a double of an Arsenal. I want to do the same way we did them last season. Where you smash them 3-0. That was absolutely easy as well. So the one must start 11 against Arsenal. In goal, Evan Martins will have been goal for me. On the back four or the back three even. I think you go with Tower Mings, Ezio Konza. And Axel Tonzer, I keep them free on the middle in the center backs. Little white wing, he got with Cash. Left wing back, he got with Matt Target. In the middle, I think I'll go with Brendia, Luis. I think go with him again. Them three need to start again as well. And the two up front, Danny Ings and Ollie Walkin. Them three need to start again. Who's was absolutely brilliant in the second half. Apart from that, then, no, apart 10 minutes of the end of the game, we just fall apart. I don't know what just happened as well. We just really fall apart, really. Let her, we don't do this again. I don't want it to happen again as well. I don't want it to happen again. 
why my score prediction now this is going to be an absolutely difficult game but do you know what i'm very confident we could bounce back to this i would say 2-1 villa after i'll go with Watkins and louise will score this one first and my 